Hello everybody, this is Devar with FSG Modding, and we're going to take a look at the FSG Mod Assistant. Adding a new collection. It is as simple as clicking this button right here. Add folder. Scroll to where your folder, your mods folder that you would like to add to the FSG Mod Assistant. Click your folder, select folder. It will scan the folder and it is now added. So now if we scroll down to the folder we added, which is fun at the bottom here, we have all of our mods within that folder. You can also just drag and drop a folder into FSG Mod Assistant. Simple as this. Drag, add as a collection. Now, if you just want to drag a single mod in, you can do that as well. Copy files to a collection folder, and then it will ask you which folder you would like to copy it in, or you can copy it into all of them. So if you download a new mod, you can quickly drag and drop it to all of your mod folder. If you decide you have too many mod folders, you can easily edit your folders. You can sort them alphabetically. You can use these little arrows to move them up and down. Move it to the top. Move the folder up one, move the folder down one, move it to the bottom. You can edit the folder details, open it in Explorer, and you can also forget the collection, and it'll remove it from the FSG Mod Assistant. Changing your active folder is as easy as right-clicking, set active. It'll do a little scan and update your XML file, and you're done. And you hit your launch game, and it'll launch on that mod folder with those settings. And if you want to change to a different one, you just find the one you want, right click it, set active, good to go. So now when you launch the game, it'll use the settings that you have set within here. Another way that you can do it is by using this drop down, select which one you want, and then set active, or you can deactivate and it'll set it to a default setting. If you have multiple servers with different mods, different settings, different passwords, etc. You can create a folder for each one of them and quickly and easily add that information into that folder within the FSG Mod Assistant so that you can easily pull it up later. For example, I open up my edit folder details here and I can add some basic information about it. The game version, short description, so like right here, the Green Mountain Testing. If you want a different player name per server, you can do that as well. Just set your player name here. When you boot into the multiplayer, you want the search bar to automatically have information in it. So like fsg.gg to see all of our FSG servers. That will automatically put that in there. Your server password, the password to get into that dedicated server. Server website, if it has a website, you can set that here. You can also set it to automatically download the mods if the website's set up to allow that. If you have an admin password that you would like to be able to copy so that it's just a copy paste type of thing, you can do that as well. And same for your in game admin password. Once you set these settings in here, you just close the window and it's good to go. And you'll see a little pop up button here or the website button there. And it gives you a little brief information on it. You just click it and it copies it to your clipboard and you're good to go. The FSG Mod Assistant is packed full of other features as well. You can view the game log. Little details about it there. You can scroll down and see what you got going on. You can set it to where it only shows the errors and warnings. Unclick those and voila. You can go in and add all the way down to FS13. You can turn the Giants LED on and off, and a bunch of other good stuff. Just poke around a little bit and try out the different features. If you're not sure of something or have any questions, feel free to join us on our Discord and ask them there. Make sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think of the FSG Mod Assistant. And thank you for watching.